Welcome in everyone to the OMG Bracket Challenge brought to you by Fyro's Fire Kissed Pizza. Chris Notch alongside me, of course, is Mayor Will Joyce. So first off, Mayor Joyce, thank you for joining us here today. Thanks for having me. This is exciting. Yeah, so now, of course, before we get into this main event, which, of course, first time since 1979, I believe it is, that neither Duke nor Kentucky are in the tournament. <laughs> so big things, and of course, at that same time, is when 76, excuse me, is also, we'll get to a little bit with Gonzaga. We have not had an undefeated champion through March Madness since 76 when Bob Knight and the Indiana Hoosiers did it. Okay. There's only been, this is the fifth team since then to go into the tournament undefeated. Obviously, none of the other four have made it. Nobody's so. won at all. No. The closest they have gotten is the Elite Eight, uh, oddly enough. Really? Yes. So Ooh. there's not a lot, history is not on the side, not on especially their side. of Gonzaga. Um, but, when it comes to picking, are you, when you do your bracket, are you the aggressive, okay, we're gonna have a couple up, you know, upsets here and there, or is it more that I will play it by safe, the one should always beat 16 and so forth? Uh, I'm pretty conventional with, with my picks when I do them. I don't, I don't generally pick a lot of upsets, but you know, there's always that one 13 seed or 12 seed or somebody that kind of sneaks through. So you kind of have to guess which one it's gonna be. But for the most part, my bracket's going to be pretty, you know, the seeds are going to, the, the higher seeds are generally going to, going to move on. Okay. Well, cool. Well, let's start in the West here. All right. Uh, of course, you got Gonzaga against Mizzou. You have the Tigers defeating that team down, down yeah. south, the Oklahoma Sooners, to get into the round of 32. So who do you got in the Sweet 16 here? I think the Zags are going to move on. All you right. Them in? Yes, sir. All right. And I'll let you kind of stay there. So now we have, of course, the uh, University of California, Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. against Virginia. Who do you, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is an upset here. It is. UCSB would be an upset. Uh, I think they're the 12. Uh, over Creighton. Over yeah, over Creighton. The Blue Jays team. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think Virginia will, will take them out. Assuming okay. Virginia actually gets to play in the tournament. I don't think we've heard yet. Yeah, it <laughs> sounds like they, they, they will, protocols. but you're right. Well, and they're technically, even though we had the year off, they're still trying to defend, you could say, the, they are, the yeah. championship they're, being we had the break. Being they're the last, the last one to lift one. the, the so trophy. So there's yeah. kind of that, that uh, interesting tidbit. So now, of course, USC and Kansas. And KU, yeah. Uh, this is a tough one. I think, uh, I think this will be a close game, but I'll give it to Kansas. Okay. Keeping the Big 12 teams in check so far. So, of course, next up, Oregon from the Pac-12 and Iowa. Um, who you got? I'm picking Iowa in this one. I think they're a tough team. I think Iowa will uh, will make it a decent decent way into the tournament. Yeah, and I think when you have a center like Luca Garza, yeah. um, man in the post, it's he'll be a challenge all Absolutely. the time. So now let's kick it up over to the south here. So as I see, you got Baylor and then Wisconsin, of course. Uh, Wisconsin being the nine seed, taking and defeating Roy Williams and the Tar Heels of North Carolina. So. Who do you I, got here? I do, and I think Baylor will. Uh, I think Baylor will be just fine getting through either of the eight or nine seeds in this this bracket. All right, moving on. Of course, you have Villanova taking on Purdue. Of course, no upsets here. Nova took on Winthrop, and then Purdue, of course, taking on North Texas. So. Yep, absolutely. And I think no upset here either. I think Purdue will be able to move on. All right, and as I can already see, we got an upset <laughs> coming up here. Texas Tech and Colgate, um, of course, Colgate defeating Arkansas, yeah. uh, quite the upset here. So <laughs> what, what made you, what's with Colgate? So this was a tough one. This is me trying to find, okay, which one of these low seeds that, that you know, probably shouldn't win is, is going to pull a couple upsets. And Colgate is interesting because they're, they only played a conference schedule. They haven't played non-conference games. But they're a great three-point three point shooting team, and they defend the three well. And in the tournament, if you get hot with threes... You can beat anybody, and so I think uh, I think this one will be. You know, they're also going to be used to the COVID protocols being a little tougher, and so this this tournament's going to be weird with everybody being in the bubble. I think some of the teams are going to struggle to to deal with that. So uh, I think Colgate's going to I think Colgate's going to move on. Here. Okay, first Big Twelve team goes down. All right, and then last, of course, for this bracket, Florida and Ohio State, of course, both taking. Um, Taking their first matchups with ease. Yeah, here. absolutely. And Ohio State, I think, will move on just fine here too. 
All right. Well, let's stay on that side. We'll go with the Midwest here bracket. Of course, you have Illinois and then Loyola, Chicago, which, of course, um, for those that remember Loyola, Chicago, just a few years ago, Cinderella story, getting yep. to the Final Four, losing to Michigan. Um, so who do you got here in this, this matchup? This is a tough seed, tough uh, matchup for them. Illinois has been really strong down the stretch, and I think they'll, uh, I think they'll take this one. All right. Next, of course, Tennessee and, of course, our hometown, Oklahoma State Cowboys. So Yep. Who do, you, who do you got here? Uh, I got I to gotta pick Oklahoma State. I mean, this is going to be a tough matchup for sure. OSU got a, a terrible draw, I think. I mean, Tennessee <laughs> is probably the toughest five seed. They could, have been a, they could have been as high as a three seed, too, I think. Um, so this will be a tough game, but I think OSU will take it. All right. Uh, next up, of course, San Diego State, the sixth six seed, and West Virginia, the three seed, another Big 12 team. Uh, who do you got here? I think West Virginia will be okay with this one. They've uh, they've been great this year. Stumbled a little bit because of Oklahoma State down the stretch, but I think uh, I think they'll be okay against San Diego State. Yeah, and Bob Huggins always seems to just have a little bit of magic when it comes yep. uh, to the postseason as well. Absolutely. So, last matchup down here in this region: Rutgers uh, and Houston. Of course, Rutgers defeating um, Clemson. Yeah. A little upset, upset so. little upset with the Rutgers. I like the ten seven upsets. Pull, you know, those happen fairly often. So we'll see if Rutgers can pull that one off. But I don't think they're getting by Houston. <laughs> this bracket, by the way, this this regional is insane. The I mean, the the one through five are are all uh, good teams in this bracket. So it's going to be yeah, going to be crazy. Something I noticed with the Midwest, especially in the first round of sixty four, over half of the conference champions are all in this side. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all matched up basically in some way, shape, yeah. or form. Um, where actually the West and the uh, East are the only ones they have like one each. Hmm. Basically, and that's it. So There's always, there's always there's one, one regional region, that, yeah. that they, yeah, and, and of course OSU ends up in it most of the time when we have the, the team to be there, but right. uh, it'll, be a, it'll be a challenge. All right, so now here we can go to the East. Of course, um, Michigan and St. Bonaventure, the Bonnies, um, they, of course, defeat, you say, here, LSU yep. in the round of 64. That's an 8-9 upset, but um, those are pick'ems anyway. Right. But Michigan's tough. Michigan's going to take this one. All right. Next up, Colorado and Florida State here, a 4-5 four, uh, four, matchup. Yeah, and, and this one, a lot of people are talking about Colorado maybe not getting by uh, Georgetown in the 12-5 game, but uh, I, I, think they'll, I think they'll be okay. I don't, th I don't think they're going to get by Florida State. Florida State, of course, from the ACC, playing. They lost a tough one, actually, to Georgia Tech, um, of course, in the championship game for them. So next up, BYU and Texas, Big 12 champs. Yeah. Who do you got here? <laughs> so picking with OU and Texas, I, I really have to try to not just let the fact that I'm not a big fan of OU or Texas uh, <laughs> get in the way too much. But honestly, uh, Texas in the tournament is not, not a – Great history there, and I'm going to pick BYU to upset them. All right. First big upset so far. And then, of course, down here at the bottom, Maryland overtaking UConn and then Alabama. Yeah, this is another 10-7 upset with Maryland going through, but uh, Bama, I think, will take, take care of them. All right. So that, of course, Sweet 16 we got going right here. Now let's go to the Elite Eight. We'll stay up here in the West. Gonzaga, Virginia. Whose season ends right here? I think the Zags will keep going. I think uh, Gonzaga has had a, a great season, and they're undefeated for a reason, so I think they'll keep going. All right. Uh, staying here, Kansas and Iowa. Good matchup of bigs. Of course, Kansas, you've got McCormick. Iowa, as we mentioned earlier, you have yeah. Garza. Yeah, I think Iowa will be able to take down KU in this game. All right. So let's move over here to the south bracket. Baylor and Purdue. Um, who do you got? One of the four seed. This one's going to be... Uh, pretty straight uh, chalk, as they say. <laughs> I think uh, Baylor uh, will be able to take care of Purdue. All right, and then Ohio State and Colgate. Does Colgate stay, or no. are they time to go? This is this is the end of the line for Cinderella on this one. I think Ohio State will take care of them. Okay. And we'll stay here in the Midwest. Illinois, Oklahoma State. You know, I mean, this Long is a game that line. as soon as the brackets were announced, all OSU fans were looking at this because Brad Underwood's coaching Illinois these days. And, uh, um, I mean, it's a tough game. Illinois is uh, it's a good – they're a good team. Um, but, you know, we've seen OSU be able to beat anybody in the country. They took down Baylor last week. So I'm, I'm picking the Cowboys. All right. 
And then, of course, in this last one here, West Virginia and Houston. Um, this is partly, I think, I think this is a pick, you know, this game could go either way. Uh, I want OSU to play Kelvin Sampson and Houston, so we're picking Houston. All right. Of course, the American Athletic uh, champions that in Houston. So we'll come here now to the east. Michigan, Florida State. We've got Michigan going through in this game. Um, I think I think they'll be able to take care of the Seminoles. All right, and then BYU and Bama. Does BYU keep going, or are they? No, nope. I think I think this is the end of the line for them as well. I think Bama takes this game and sets up another one-two Elite Eight game. All right. Of course. All right. We'll stay here in the in the West, going to the Final Four. Is Gonzaga or Iowa? One-two matchup, as you mentioned. Gonzaga's rolling all the way through this bracket and going to the Final Four. All right, they're trying to knock off that uh, stigma that happens with being a <laughs> number one seed. So, especially being the number one overall, um, being it's been six years since a number one overall team has made it to the Final Four. So, um, it has. It's been six years. Six years really? since the number one overall Gosh. seed. Well, now you got me rethinking it. this one. So, you never know. <laughs> Now we'll go here uh, to the South region, Baylor, Ohio State. Another tough one. I, I mean, at this point, they just they get really, really tough to call. I, I think uh, I think Baylor. Um, I think if they get hot and they keep hitting their shots, I think Baylor will make it through here to the Final Four. Yeah. Sounds good. And then in the Midwest, Oklahoma State and Houston. They're going to the Final Four again. It's been uh, it's, since two thousand five for the Cowboys. Yep, and it's time again. So we're 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 going back to the Final Four. Which them, if they can beat Liberty in the round of sixty four, would be their first uh, tournament win since 05, The year they got to the Final Four as it's well. It's been a while. So it's time. They're it, due. They are due. <laughs> and then of course down here in the East, you have Michigan and Alabama. Another one too. This one, the two seed, I think is going to take it. I think Alabama will go through to make it to the Final Four. All right. All right, we'll stay on the left side here. Final four, Gonzaga, Bama. Who's going on to the uh, championship game here? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put Gonzaga in the final. Although you're making me, uh, <laughs> you're making me question that because of the, the trends here. But, I mean, they're 26-0 and 0 for a reason. It's a, it's a good, strong basketball team. Um, they were supposed to play Baylor earlier in the year and didn't. You know, I think, I think it would have been good to see that game, but... Based on what we know, I think Gonzaga is going to be a tough one. So. All right, and then of course, Big Twelve matchup: Baylor, Oklahoma State. I mean, this, this is easy. This is the fourth time meeting. So. This is easy. They uh, they got Baylor's number at this point. It's. I think it's, it's more of a psychological thing for the players. Going, oh, okay. Yep. All right, championship. Who you got? Oklahoma State or Gonzaga? I mean, head of the heart right here. <laughs> Gonzaga is a better basketball team than OSU right now, but Cowboys make it to the championship game. They're going to win it. We're going to tear down those nets. We're going to cut down the nets in Indianapolis. All right. What do you think, uh, if you could, what do you think the, to the give me a final score. Yeah. Total, you want the final? Just give me a, yeah, what do you think the final is? Not the total, just the Not final. The total, yeah, so we'll I'm just gonna, do a final. I'm going to call it 81-78. So close game. Probably comes down to a Kate Cunningham yep. type of. Yep. Type of heroics. I think it's going to be one of those, uh, everyone thinks it's going to be Cade getting the ball at the end, and, and they're going to run a little decoy play, and Avery Anderson's going to come through and hit the game winner. Kind of do almost like the Bulls did, Michael yep. Jordan, Steve Kerr, or Paxton type of thing. Um, of course, Gonzaga being led by head coach Mark Few and Jalen Suggs, who is one of the uh, best guard players as yep. well. Um, so cool. Got Oklahoma State winning it all here. This so. is it. This is the year. This is the year. Like Syracuse. What was that? Oh four. Oh four. Yeah. Oh four. It's gonna be. Uh, it's going They came out of the four seed, beat everybody in the Big Twelve on their way through, yeah. and uh, OSU is gonna come out of the hardest bracket, and they're gonna take it. Yeah, and they, you know, even for the Big Twelve, you know, even the Big Ten, you give them a lot of credit. They, of course, uh, Big Ten has eight teams in the tournament. Uh, the Big Twelve was seven. Yeah. Along with the, I believe, it was the ACC. So. Yeah. Did the, I thought the Big Ten had like nine. And maybe it was nine. I, think they have nine, I know yeah. that it, you're I mean, right. It was nine. When you do the bracket, you're like, well, it can't be another Big Ten team coming through here, but they're all Big Ten teams. Right. It well, like... it, and it's so much different this year because it's all in one location. And so yeah. usually when they do regions, they do it kind of based off where you're located as well. Mm -hmm. um, so especially like for Gonzaga, you're really sitting a lot better because most of the teams you're with are the worst of yeah. their rankings. So yeah. um, helps them a lot. But 
it is going to be really interesting to see how it goes with all of these teams. Because, I mean, these teams, when they make it to the final, they're going to be spending almost a month in Indiana. Yep. They're not coming home in between. It's going to be a weird dynamic for these guys that have been cooped up in hotel rooms for several weeks. It's, it's going to be, I don't know, I think you're going to see that take a different toll on different kinds of teams as, as we go forward with the tournament. Right. Well, and I think another good thing, to, you kind of were hitting on it, is, of course, up until I believe it's a Tuesday, uh, tomorrow, they have it where they actually have four teams kind of hanging out. Yeah. Just uh, like, you're going to come as well. You probably won't play, but in case, you know, because that would be the interesting thing. I've heard that if a COVID issue happens, the game just is done and I, yeah, I, I don't they're know just how they're... kind of moving it on. Like, okay, it's a no contest. Um, I, I don't know if they would just take both teams out or the team that doesn't have COVID if they keep moving. I but I think we're going to see, you know, it's going to be, Close. I'm sure they'll try and keep it just like the NBA when they did their bubble, keep it, um, you know, kind of tight knit. No one's going anywhere. And it seems like a much easier thing to do when you're talking about professional, professional millionaires that yeah. are playing and being forced to stay in hotels for several weeks. But yeah, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be odd. I mean, I, I would imagine there's gonna be at least a game or two that ends up something weird happens or somebody tests positive before the game and they have to they have to call it or they have to bring a substitute team in. I mean, like I said, we still don't know if. Virginia, I think they're still waiting to see if they've got enough guys to yeah. pass their COVID well, protocols. Well, I think KU Kansas is, still in, is yeah, in the same yeah. boat. So, there's a, definitely yeah, it's a couple gonna be teams. Interesting. It's well, going to be tough with brackets, too, because everything going to have the brackets in, and then you know some team may just not be in it anymore. So, right, you know, well, yeah, yeah, and the chance for a perfect bracket is yeah. really your odds already were really low. Now yeah. it's even worse. Yeah, this, this year is going to be crazy. No, no, nobody really knows what's going to happen. And, um, but, you know. It's a great team uh, we have here at Oklahoma State, and and Coach Boynton and the guys they're they're raring to go. So uh, I'm I'm excited to see. You know, it's great to have them back in the tournament and have them back um, as a high seed and with a good chance to go through. So uh, I think I think this is the year. Yeah, well, I think there's a lot of excitement for how they did in the Big Twelve yeah. tournament um, to take down West Virginia for the second time in about a week and a half yeah. and taking out Baylor and I think it's you know it's one of those things you look for in tournament teams right that they come down the stretch they're under high pressure at the end of the year you know in these kind of tournament situations and they responded well to it and um, you know they don't have to play three games in three days at any point during this right. deal so uh, I think you know I think they'll be able to get rested and I think they're they've certainly shown they've got the mental um, toughness yeah toughness to to deal with with a high pressure environment so all right well, of course, that is the uh, Stillwater Mayor Will Joyce's bracket here for the O'Connor Media Bracket Challenge brought to you by Fire Pizza. So for Mayor Joyce, I'm Chris Notch. We'll see you later.